Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Hilton Center of the Las Vegas Hilton Hotel. Presents Glory Hallelujah, a unification of the heavyweight championship of the world. This is the main event of the evening. Twelve rounds of boxing for the unification of the heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Houston, Texas, with a professional record of 34 wins, no defeats, 29 KOs. He is the IBF heavyweight champion of the world, Tony TNT Tucker. And in the red corner, from Catskills, New York, he is undefeated in his professional career. 30 wins, no defeats, with 27 KOs. He is the WBA and WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike. Tyson. Okay, now, here we go, now. You've had good thoughts in the dressing room. Any question, Mr. Tyson, the chief second? Let's get it on, come on. It's time for Tony Tucker now to walk the walk. Or run the run, as it were. Thanks. I was expecting Mike Tyson to jump right on Tony Tucker. Now, try to frustrate Mike Tyson. But is he strong? Good right hand by Tucker. That might have been the best shot that Mike Tyson... That uppercut blocked Mike Tyson. This must say something. Technically speaking, no one gave Tucker a Tyson. We always felt that he was susceptible to take jazz. Mike Tyson stops by a punch. What happened then was the best thing to him. That's confidence. Another right hand. And another right hand by Tucker. Yeah, he said he likes being the underdog, even though it's the first time he's been one. Probably every time Mike reaches in, Tony comes with the right hand, a kind of right hand. The other thing you have to say about Tucker is that he has since James fought against Douglas. He fought a little bit better, and now we'll see what he can do against Sir. Here we go. Again, a right hand, but he took a right from Tyson, and particularly for Tucker. Well, Tony Tucker is a 10 to 1 underdog. He was there. Right there. Right down in. That's where you're going to. Uppercut almost immediately after the bell. He follows a right. Tyson really rocked back like that. Coach to look for the left hand. Now, there's the right hand that landed high on the head. Sphinx sitting in the last row of the balcony here at this place. We'll show you a pick. Go to the body. Don't look for the one punch to the head. Four punches together. And he's following up with left uppercut. Because Mike is rocking left and right, left and right. Well, you know, Ray, I, I hearken back to your fight with Mark Bush Brown. Actually, can turn the tables around on the fighter. It uh, gives him the confidence. As far as the fact, he's going one, two, three. He's following up with the left hook. He's using his height, his reach. was telling him to do in the corner. Now see, this is what uh, Tucker let Tyson work that body. Tyson. That was a little bit low. Not telling him to jab to box. He's telling him to jab to get inside. What I want you to look for, a look of confidence in the face of Tony Tucker. He kind of, he really wants to frustrate Mike Tyson. on the planet he's the only one who has a chance to beat Mike Tyson tonight and right now hey, if you're doing that keep your balance when you punch him walk him of the bleaches here he went up there as a publicity stunt to get some that was Bob Euchre sitting next to him <laughs> this is a punch inside now we need to see some jazz by Tucker and some lateral move coming in with his head Playing very take charge as a referee. No nonsense guy. Tucker with another. Body, body first, coming in. All right, get off that neck, Tony. Get, get off that neck. Corner. Watching Tyson on the way in. He's finished with the left hook there. Allowing Tony Tucker to get that hook and that uppercut in. What are you, what's going on with the coming in with his head? The uppercut. 
has been doing a tremendous in left hand, and that staggered Tony Tucker. Again, he's playing, but the fact of the matter is, frustration, it creates frustration in the fight. Watch out, you got two hands up to me. Seven! at all because Tony's been tying his man up. That was a good right hand by Tucker again. Put the you punch at a time, he makes you listen to any pop okay. at one time, you understand? You gotta use your jab, you gotta box. You understand me? Chink Tyson on the way in with his long arms. And there I have Tucker winning two rounds, Tyson winning one, Tucker ahead by a We start the fourth round. And in Tyson, look for one punch. And that's where normally Tyson punch, normally is not going to do it. Interestingly enough, it is Tony Tucker's in, in uh, Tony Tucker. There was a big left hand by Tyson. And that was the one big thing he wanted. He wanted uh, Tucker to stand there and exchange. I want to step back. All right, Tony. As well as not, Tucker can withstand this type of pressure. Get him up. Tyson needs to use his jab to get in because a lot of times he's lunging in. Uh, Tony Tucker starting to work again. There's a right hand again by Tyson. But Five seconds left, round four. Very competitive fight. So movement seems to be affecting Mike's punches because he's not able to get to But every time that Tucker stands still, you notice a big left hook land for Mike Tucker. Now, now he knows he just has to fight him. Hit him, and if it open up, catch him more on that. You still got to jab with this guy. What you gotta do is jab with him. You understand? Okay. Oh, Tyson yeah. is working closer into Tyson into Tuck left that he did throw right behind it. But Tyson's starting to double his points up a little bit. Now, something that could become a factor that you never thought would have is the fact that this only thought that's sort of like making war and peace. From 1,200 pages to oh, 1,000 oh, oh. is that Tony Tucker's initiated respect. He stood his ground. Good hand speed by uh, Tony Tucker. Tyson got the better of that exchange. He stood right in front of him and he said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move and I'll be firing. I'm not sure about the fourth, but the first three rounds, exactly what he did. I noticed that a lead off right. There's a left hook. I'm in front of Tony Tucker. Tucker and that's why Tony's able to get those punches off. Be less of a target. There was a right hand in uh, Tucker and get him out of there. I think Tucker on the other hand is fighting some. There was a right hand by Tyson. Heard, ladies and gentlemen. It's an old, a Las Vegas cheer. Past the fifth round, and it was an even bet. You have won the bet. Get him to the fight. Push him off. Don't grab him. Push him off and attack him. You understand me? More just. More just. Bad intentions. It's winnable. Did you see that? There's in seconds out of the ring. The bell had rung. They were so excited about the prospect of fight. A lot of people. Mike Tyson, and I think he's probably fought stronger oh, fighters by pushing a man off. Right, Tyson. Step back, please. With him. The mistake Tyson's oh. making, All right, the girl's he's next. following Tucker around, back. moving to his right. Seven, seven. And what Mike has to do is move to his left to cut. because I didn't expect that much from him. But the fact of the matter is, this Tyson looks right now like he's in it for the long haul here. And he took another right hand, got cute, and paid the he has too. I think his timing is not as good as yours. You see, you hit him with the right hand. He has to do more of that. He's a difficult guy to fight. He's moving. Whenever you get close, he grabs that. And here you see him use the left hand 
just as a way to get in, settle down. The great fighters don't go out looking for a quick knockout. The great fighters... And here's my scorecard so far. I have Tyson coming on in the last... He had at the start of the fight to establish himself. Doesn't seem to... You notice the movement of Tucker's really throwing Tyson off. Not allowing him to three rounds has been effective in allowing him to get inside. On and we see Tucker trying to uh, finish tense fighting. as he was in the first fight, has he? Ray, where he was just like Douglas. He appeared to be as loose throughout most of this fight. No, I was, he's very, we got a cramp in his left arm in the first round, a knot actually formed, and it was worth from tenseness. Also, I think in the back of the great fighter. You know, another thing that I feel we should at least point out here is there was a rumor about Tyson, or rather Tucker's right hand that he hit from a big man. Not in a heavyweight. They don't throw those kind of punches. Once again, with Tyson, which brings the crowd alive. Well, when you do that, and I know from experience because hey, we have to give Muhammad Ali a little credit for that tactic. I don't think so, though. <laughs> he has been unable to get back what he had in the first three rounds of the fight. Hold. Let him hold. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't even think that. Now, there you see he's point. That seventh round with Tony Tucker being animated on his ass, it really affects a fighter, especially when right, the champion can't work. But if you, if you analyze it though, Barry, actually he's doing what I did to have. I mean, punch a little bit. On the left hand. Okay. We're talking for a long, long night. In the middle of the last round, we talked about the him throw the right hand in anger. Since the middle of the last round, I haven't noticed it. His magnitude. When you're fighting, you really don't feel it because those drill is going. And you Tape on the glove of Mike Tyson. They'll cut it off. Momentary timeout. It doesn't seem like much. But right here, Tucker's being uh, cool. He seems to have gained control of the fight. His knees seem to buckle just a full second. The right hand up on the top of the... Trying to get a little meaner in here now. Hope you don't hold the time. I'll stand there, box like you're doing. Thank you. You're looking like a champion. You're looking great. Oh, you're not moving enough. Move your head, come in and get in there and punch out. You're not punching out at all. You put the question for an athlete like Mike Tyson can he end in style? Kevin oh, Rooney. Let him go, Tony. Get out! You can hear Kevin Rooney yelling in the background. Get on him, he said, in order to get inside and not be so stationary because what would happen? He's very susceptible to the uppercut. There's a right hand by Tucker, the back tight. Get him up, both of you, come on! That was a big left hand, but again, Tucker's the direction that Tony Tucker's movement, it takes away the power of it. Let him go. Let Left jab of Mike Tyson. Here's the instinct for self-preservation has kicked in with Tucker. Let that out here. Let me get unofficial judge. That's me. I did score the eighth round. He has to knock him down or stop him. I think it's a little closer than that. But of these last uh, few round punches, or the percentage of punches that are landed, he has been the aggressive. Mike has not been able to land the kind of punch. Tony Tucker's right hand. Tyson continually putting pressure on Tucker now. Come on. This step. Like that. Blood jet, this step in. Get close. Now come. There it was. Now he's starting to cut the ring off. And work his way in. And remember, it's a different kind of jab. It is a jab that is designed and off of you. Tucker. And that height of Tony Tucker. First. Tucker starts it off with a 
few feeble words and I want to see five punch combinations. He's throwing one punch at a time. One showed that he had been throwing roughly ten jabs and landing half we've seen him before. Two rounds to go. You got two rounds to go, you're in good. Tucker needs to do something dramatic. Will he try? This is when your body aches, your legs cramp, but you gotta push. You gotta push him out. This time it is the tape on the glove of Tony Tucker that comes loose. There's frustrations because of what Tucker's doing. Really Time is man up. A little antics there. I mean, he's fighting his fight. He's doing his thing. What people say on the books or writing the books. Right, right, well, if nothing else, he's an opponent that haven't done that. Again, the voice you're hearing in the This fight a great fight. This is a push around here. We so slow. I don't know. Becoming the unified heavyweight champion at the age of an effective victory. It was interesting to hear Kevin Rooney in the corner saying, with these judges, you never know. You won the title against Buster Douglas. I felt that he needed more experience to deal with Mike Tyson. He wasn't so well with these so-called experts. I'm going to show you. And this is what he did tonight. And he has. Even if he loses, you have to take your head off to the guy. I mean, he's in there with a little... Um, and a guy who wasn't in there just to survive. Responded saying he had the big hat, and while maybe he didn't have all the cattle, at least he had a couple of... Tucker talked the talk and you never know how good an unbeaten fighter is and an unbeaten fighter is conversation going on between the two this seems of a friendly nature Tony Tucker very religious man which we will put up in a moment I have Tyson winning clearly in terms of rounds took the punch he gathered himself and after a few rounds of uncertainty if you had to capsulize yeah, uh, and didn't let him land a lot of big punches, I think, uh, from Tyson. And Tyson is not a one-punch puncher. He's a cumulative puncher. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the decision. 119-111. And Judge Bill Graham scores 116. Mike Tyson. Over Tony Tucker. Tony Tucker doesn't have to answer that question anymore. In a losing champion, are you happy with the way you no, fought not tonight? Not really, because I was trying my best. In the first round. Yes, he did. He was a very hard puncher. How did you gather yourself together around several rounds that... And he was freezing every once in a while, and I would think I would get him with a good right All hand. Right, we want to take a look at that and just what happened, because... You can see how into this fight with the strategy of trying to come underneath you as you came in. What are your plans now? Everybody wants to know, are you going to fight Michael Spinks? Here's from now. I fight whoever my manager wants me to fight, you know. I'm just a make mistakes. I tell you, you have no means to be happy. I'm a perfectionist. I want to be perfect. At what happened in the last round when he came out in some desperation and started to throw well, antics? He was, he was a little intimidating to try to... Hey, congratulations. Thank you, Larry. Unbe undisputed champion, 21 years old. I knew I would heavyweight, longest heavyweight champion when I beat Burger. Thank you very much. Okay, Mike. Evaluate Mike Tyson's performance. Let me ask you, not only how you would evaluate Mike Tyson's performance. That's why I respect the man so much because he he boxed, he clinched, he fought a very strategic. It seems like he heeded that advice. 
You know, and I saw that in the making, there's the rounds for progress because I was through 452, but Tyson's punches were more effective. And I think probably the most important thing about them did so effectively enough to get inside and win a unanimous decision. Let's get back to the center of the ring now. What happened after that? Why couldn't you follow up on it? Oh, uh, well, you know, it wasn't no secret in the game. Mike Tyson, he's a young kid. He's a, he's what everyone thought I beat, I beat him. But that's okay. You know, the world know country, and I'm happy, to, you know, that, that I'm here. But, you know. You've been in some time. We have a unified champion, and we have a challenge to fight Tyson in this tournament, or not to fight Tucker for his, is why the fight won't be held right away. But one of them, obviously, is there's a lot of bad. And finally, third, the longer we wait, the bigger the buildup will be. Tour. And part of the courtship ritual is to take her to the fights every single week. And for the top, I had to be at this party. I'm glad I was at this party, although I would rather... The Sphinx Tyson eventuality. And Ray, let me put you inside the head, if I can, of both my... I think the public wants to see Michael Sphinx and Mike Tyson go at it. Is that inevitable confrontation where it should happen? Sooner or later, but in this case, it appears it's going to be later. You know, the one question that I, let's say, six or seven fights ago might have been very, very different.